Hey there, Scott. Old buddy. Old pal. Stoosh. What are you doing here? I saw you die. No, no. You're making that up. I saw you jump off that waterfall. How did you survive? Simple. I just learned how to catch my breath. You're a lion sack of shrimps, Dzinski. Nobody survives that long a fall. Then I guess I'm a nobody. Or I'm a somebody. Enough with the mind games. What are you doing in my part of town? Just visiting an old friend. Hey, that's a nice scooter you got there. Mind if I give it for a spin? You best step off, guy. Otherwise, you'll be seeing this pistol in your face to go. You with your big words, come on. Just them around the block for all time's sake. All right. All right. Make it quick. I don't have all night. Damn you to hell, Stoosh Rudy. I should have never trusted you. There's only one thing I can do now. His name is Tristan Clayhorn. This psycho brutally murdered his foster family with nothing but a number two pencil. Well, guys, there, uh, there's a pencil in the interrogation room. Guys, there's thought of something. Lay it on me, Steph. There's a pencil in the interrogation room. My god, you're right! Someone should probably go in there and get it. Good idea. But who's it going to be? I'll do it. I'll do it. Wait. You're a real team player today. Yeah, that's me. Go get him, Tiger. Hey, I love my wife. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I uh, just forgot my pencil. Needed for paperwork and stuff. See ya. Aren't you supposed to interrogate me or something? Oh, right. That's why I came in here. So, uh, why'd you do it? Because I had to. No, that's where you're wrong. You didn't have to do any of it. You had a motive. Look, I just wasn't meant for the average apple pie life, okay? Okay, well that's great and everything, but that doesn't explain why you killed them. Tristan. What's up? I'm busting you out of here. That's what's up. You can't just bust in here and kidnap our suspect like that. Am I kidnapping you? Nah, not really. He's right, you know. Guys, what the hell? Sorry, Stith, but we used to be good drinking buddies with Scott. We got all the biddies. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks. Anytime. Now go do what you gotta do. <sighs> now we're all gonna get fired. Yeah. What do you think, Eli? What about a drink? Thought you'd never ask. Don't worry, Stith. We're on the case. So they found out you're not dead? Yeah. And they know you're back in town? Yep. That is unfortunate. You're sure it wasn't you who crossed me? I would never cross you, Macy. That's good, Stoosh. That's good. You want to see what happens when someone crosses me, Stoosh? Snipes, put that creature down and get me my gun. Macy, I don't really think that's necessary. Snipes, did I ask you what was necessary? No, I just don't think that's uh, Shh. I don't keep you around here to second guess me, Snipes. Now get my gun. Fine. Just remember what I said. Zip it. <laughs> this guy crossed me, Stoosh. This scumbag but he's not gonna get the chance to do it again. <laughs> Macy. Macy! That was a really awesome movie. We should totally see that again. What was that? I don't know. Just some guy setting off fireworks somewhere. Gee, Sam, you worry way too much. We need to stop them. Why? Why, Beverly? We are members of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Plants. It is our duty to protect anything and everything natural in this world. What if they were using those firecrackers to hurt plants or animals? They're so paranoid. I'm sure they're not hurting animals. I don't think I'm being paranoid, Beverly. Besides, don't you want to earn your investigating strange noises that may or may not involve entry to plants or animals in air catch? Tiffany has hers. Tiffany?
Come on, let's go investigate that strange noise that may or may not involve intruded plants or animals. Let's go. Oh, uh, excuse me. Did you see any guys back there setting off fireworks? No. But did you hear that loud bang? Actually, that was just... Um, no. Sorry, girls. We can't help you. We gotta run. I wasn't going to tell them what you did. I was just... Shut up. You don't want to mess with Judy. She was nice. Look, man, I think I should be the one to go in there and talk to him. You just wait out here. Why? I can handle anything. Trust me, this guy's crazy. <laughs> crazy is my middle name. No, your middle name is Greg. Well, what makes you think you can handle it? Because my middle name is Laser Shark. Godspeed, Laser Shark. Hello? Griffin. Griffin. Yeah, my penmanship is neutral. Uh. Griffin, hey. Tristan! Griffin! Tristan! Griffin. Tristan. Griffin. What are you doing here? Remember the water treatment center incident of 95? Of course. <laughs> How can I forget? <laughs> well, someone's planning to do it again. My stars. We've got to stop them. Right? No. We have to help them. Got it. Who's this? I'm Scott. That's a dumb name. Well, listen here, Susie. Uh, you can't blast Eminem in a Prius. What does that even mean? That's what I thought. Now, are we gonna keep shooting acorns in a fish tank here, or can we leave? This guy's deep. I know. I got chills. It's gonna move on, people. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What is it now, Nancy? There's one more person I think we should get in touch with. Who? See, I told you all we had to do was investigate. But we didn't actually rescue any plants or animals. That's, That's not part of the criteria for the merit badge. I guess you're right. See, we looked for clues as to where the noise is origin. We questioned potential witnesses. We hypothesized about the possible origins of the noise and we attempted to locate and identify damaged plants or injured animals. Yeah, you're right. We did meet all the criteria. We qualified the boy the badge. Take that, Tiffany. Uh, Beverly, Tiffany already has that badge. Whatever, Sam. I'll see you later. No, I wish I was kidding. She aimed and pulled the trigger. If Stooge hadn't jumped in the way, she, she would have killed that kitten. So, she killed Stoosh instead? No, she just grazed his leg. He'll be limping for a while, but he'll be fine. You think we could get her for attempted murder? She wasn't trying to kill Stoosh. We could probably get her for attempted murder of a cat. But I doubt we could keep her that long. What's going on here? What does it look like we're meeting with our CI? CI? It's the CI. Come on, woman. You're a cop, right? No, I mean... Yeah, you should see out, but I thought you guys went to a bar. A bar? Stith, we're on duty. You think we'd be drinking on duty? Back at the station, Gordy said, you, wanna, you guys want to go get a drink? Yeah, a drink, a soda. What did you think? Do you drink alcohol on duty, Stith? No, but I thought... You thought we did. Come on, man. Give us more credit than that. We've got snipes here. Trailing one of the most dangerous criminals in town. Macy? She's out of juvie? She turned 18. And it looks like she might even be teaming up with another criminal mastermind. You've heard of Stoosh, right? Stoosh? Surely you're not talking about that guy here. There's only one Stoosh. Oh, of course, he and Macy had a bit of a falling out earlier tonight. Falling out? She shot him. Well, that takes care of both of them. Put Stoosh in the ground and Macy goes back to jail. Unfortunately, she didn't kill him. You're gonna have to keep it up a little longer. No, Eli said all I had to do was bring you guys evidence of criminal activity. We've got plenty of that. This isn't criminal activity. This is kindergarten playground stuff. You gotta stick it out until we get enough to put her away for life. I'm 
scared. She's nuts. You don't know. This isn't a request. You need to get us what we need no matter how long it takes. Hi, I'm Stiff. Alright guys, this is where she works. Now, I don't know what we're going to find in here, so stay on guard. You guys are coming in with me, right? Say something. Sorry, we have too many lines already. Yeah, it's your time to shine. Oh, I gotcha. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, hi. Um, we're looking for Macy. Really? What do you want with Macy? Um, it, it's personal. Is she here? She might be. Why don't you and your friends have a seat and I'll get you Save it, Macy. I know who you really are. You can dye your hair as much as you want, get as much plastic surgery as you want, but I know who you really are. Oh, big brother. I was wondering when you'd come knocking at my door. What happened to you? After I escaped from juvie, I knew there was no way to clear my name. So I figured the best thing I could do was change it and get a little plastic surgery done to escape my past. But here it is, sitting in my restaurant. Yeah, but for good reason. Let me guess. You're planning to contaminate the water treatment center. How did you know? Why else would you be here? Don't worry. I'll help you. It's been a while since I've done some bad. I knew we could count on you. You better have a good plan. Yeah, well... Actually, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Scott, do we have a plan? Did you just get your nails done? Yeah, I have a study appointment every week. But we're going to be gardening, Beverly. Sam, I don't care if we have to dig the maggots out of infected anus of a rabid dog. I do not miss my weekly appointment. How can you be so glamorous and so disgusting at the same time? It's a skill. Okay, I still don't understand how you're going to get your planting vegetables in the city park to provide food for homeless people merit badge if with freshly painted nails. Sam, poor, poor Sam. See, I am going to supervise planting a garden in a city park to feed homeless people. Supervise? Yes. See, they are workers and they are managers in this world. You are clearly a worker and I am clearly a manager. A manager? Yes, you don't expect me to dig through the dirt with freshly manicured nails, do you? No, I guess not. Exactly. Now, before we go, I have to run in here and get some tea. But we're actually already a little late. It'll just take a minute. What are we doing here? Surveillance. What exactly are we surveilling? You see that house over there? That's Macy's house. <sighs> really? She's at work right now, but we want to see if she meets anyone after work. Well, why don't we watch the place where she works? Oh, wow, we never thought of that before. Why didn't we think of that, Gordy? How did we ever solve crimes before Stith here joined the force? We got someone on the restaurant. We're here because we know what happens at that restaurant. We just found this place this afternoon. I see. So would you like a donut? Don't be cliche, Stith, please. Coffee and donuts. Next thing you know, he'll be telling some witness just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. What is that supposed to mean? Don't we want to know the facts? Just the facts. Joe Friday? Dragnet. What? Ugh, kids. Never mind. You know, if I didn't know any better, I swear I saw you and Nick and Joe's talking to some undercover cops. What? That's crazy. You're calling me crazy? No, 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 no. I just mean, there's no reason I was talking to any cops. Come on, Stooge, I'm an ex-con. What business do I have talking to cops? You know, I was thinking of the same thing. Are you saying that it wasn't you, or it wasn't those undercover cops? 
Uh, I don't know. I go to Nick and Joe's all the time. I love Nick and Joe's. Especially the one in Fairfield Shopping Center. But I haven't been talking to any cops. All right, Snipes. I believe you. But how do you know I believe you? I, I, uh... You're still breathing, Snipes. That's how you know. So you're still going to partner with Macy? She shot me, Snipes. Yeah, she was real sorry about that. Really? No, she kind of laughed about it. Well, we'll see how hard she's laughing when I destroy her and everything she holds dear. I need you to find out what she's up to. Join the club. What? You got it, bud. Isn't that Snipes? Yep. Looks like she's looking for Macy, too. Should we stop her? No, we should follow her. I'm gonna go back to the station. They got donuts today. You follow her. Nick and Joe's. This can't be good. Wait, isn't this place a little too public to discuss poisoning a city? Yeah, we should probably be somewhere more private. Guys, it's Nick and Joe's. This place is special to me. Fine. We're all here. Let's hear this plan of yours. Listen to your cheese box. Give me attitude one more time and I swear we are not going to Wendy's after this. Sorry. No. About five scenes ago. Something there. Am I interrupting you? No, as a matter of fact. Sorry. Go ahead. About five scenes ago, something very important was stolen from me. And I plan to get it back. Okay, well, where do we come in? Why do we need to poison the water? Do you not see the big picture here? Look, guys, I am 110% sure that this guy drinks water. So if we poison the plant, we poison him. That is brilliant. Oh, I know. We will pick up the poison on Tuesday and we'll strike the water treatment center on Friday. Why Friday? Because Saturday is National Drink at least three glasses of unfiltered tap water day. This is perfect. It sure is. Here, what? Those guys over there. They were talking about poisoning the water shit inside. What guys? The guys right over. Well, they were right over there. Sure, they were. But I'm telling you, there are three guys and a girl, and they were talking about poisoning the water treatment center. Okay, for a second, let's pretend that there were actually people there sitting talking about poisoning the water. So what? So what? Beverly, we are members of the system of traveling plants. It is our duty to protect anything and everything natural in this world from people like that. Yes, true, but we are Girl Scouts, not superheroes. Please help me stop them. No, please. No. But Beverly, you haven't got your saving a small town from a group of teenagers or trying to poison the town's water supply bad yet. Yeah, so? Tiffany did. Tiffany. So you'll help? Oh yeah, I'm in. Yay! So what's the plan? Okay, we'll need to get some of our friends to help. And? And we'll probably need to get some equipment to help clear for the water in case we're too late. We will not be too late. We are gonna get there and we're gonna stop them from poisoning the water and I'm gonna get that badge, Sam. Okay then, simmer down. I'm gonna destroy Tiffany! Okay, Bev, you're scaring me. Ha! Look out, Tiffany! There's a new sheriff in town! You're making a scene. Let's go, Sam. There's no time to waste. So, it's the water treatment center again. Where's all the creativity gone? I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Uh, uh, I see. Who are they? Yeah, I go once, Griffin. 
Your brother? He looks kind of cute from here. It's dark. So what were you guys talking about? Don't worry about it. Don't tell me. I'm helping them take care of something. That's all. Why do they need you? Let's just say they need my particular expertise and they're making it worth my while. Just be careful, Macy. The short one looks dangerous. I gotta go. But don't worry about me, Snipes. I'll be fine. Hey, Snipes. Yeah? Don't drink any water after Friday, okay? Okay, thanks, Macy. What was that all about? She said don't drink the water? Yeah, she did. I think they're planning on poisoning it. Who's they? She was with three boys and one of them was her brother. That can't be right. Griffin was a good kid. His sister just manipulated him. So it looks like Griffin is doing the manipulating this time. Who were the other two? I don't know. I didn't recognize them. You think you could identify him if you saw him? I think so. Let's get back to the station and pull out some mugshots. Do you recognize this kid on the scooter over here? He's looking his way. No, no, let's go. All right, everyone. Here is how this is going to go. Okay, everyone. Here's how this is going to go. Okay, everyone. Here's how this is going to go. Beverly, it's just me. Where'd everyone go? They all went to go get smoothies with Tiffany. Tiffany. Are you okay, Beverly? I'm fine. Listen, tomorrow we're going to get to the reservoir, reservoir at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Really? 8 a.m.? Won't the water still be there by, like, noon? Yeah, I agree with Griffin on this one. Zip it, tumbleweeds. We're getting there at 8 a.m. No later. All right? I'll get the poison. You get the other things. Sounds good. We'll get the flashlights and guns and other criminal-like objects. If you're going to bring the poison, what should I bring? Good question, Trigger Mama. Why don't you go get some criminal-like stuff, too? Not the flashlights, though. We'll get those. So that's all the gear we'll need? This is all the equipment we're going to need? We should bring our guns there, right? Guns just make people jumpy. We don't want anyone being jumpy. Macy's already pretty jumpy. And the leader, would you say his name was Scott? He looks pretty scary. I really think we should have our sidearms, though. You heard me. I said no guns. Now look. We'll enter through the side of the reservoir. That way we'll have the element of surprise. What if we got there earlier and hid under the dock? We could even hide in the pump house, couldn't we? No, we need to catch them in the act. But no, he's right. Because if they see us coming, or if they even suspect that they're being watched, they could ditch the poison and we could lose the whole case. We need the evidence. I just think that if we're not right there, then they're going to have a better chance of getting the poison into the water. And then... Listen, sweetheart. I appreciate your input, but... We're the cops, okay? Okay. So that's it? That's it. It's showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime! Damn, it's getting late. They should be here by now. What's that? Ladies? It's not them. They're not coming. I'm bored. Play a game with me. A game? Yeah, a game. Well, what game do you want to play? Monopoly? No. Why not? You always cheat. What have I ever cheated? When were you in camping? Bah. And when we went to the beach. Well, you cheated twice. That's unforgivable. Fine, we won't play a game. Good. Oh, look, here they come. Stop right there. Scott, Tristan, go pick the lock. Griffin and I will handle these two. Now listen to the world. We're not going to let you do this. Do what? Well, poison the water. How did you know? This is how I know! Sam, calm down! No! These people need to learn their place! So I'm your friend! No. I thought you guys were supposed to be pacifists or something! Well, yeah, but we're also part of the sisterhood of the flying bullets in the side hobby. Damn. God! Tristan! Ah! This guy got here real fast! No! I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> well, you thought wrong. I, I still remember the day we met. We're enemies, you know. We can never be together. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Elvis has left the building. That doesn't really fit here.
have to go poison the water treatment center now. Do what you got to do. Okay. You're not just gonna let them go, are you? We're not too late. Let's go. Wait. Please don't hurt Maisie. She's a good friend. She just had a tough life. She's the daughter of one of the wealthiest men in town. Yeah, but she just fell in with the wrong crowd. She is the ringleader of a group that tried to poison the entire town. But she could be really sweet, too. Guys, they're almost at the reservoir. Let's go. This is the end of the road for us. <laughs> the night going, you guys. Don't talk with <laughs> Hello there, gang. Macy. So, you're with these losers now, huh? Is that why you shot me? That was an accident. You know that. We were partners. Stop right there! No, please! Nobody move! Nobody on the ground! Face down! He said not to move! Snipes, what are you doing with them? I couldn't let you do it, Macy. I couldn't let you kill everyone. This time we were gonna save everyone. I mean, not everyone. We were gonna kill a few thousand. But by killing Stoosh, we were going to save the rest of the planet. But you see, we stopped Stoosh. We didn't have to kill anyone. Now everyone on the ground! Uh, guys, I hate to break the fourth wall, but this film is running a little long. Don't worry. I'll just cut some stuff out in post-production. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't see this coming. He was so fast. Stoosh! Guys! Guys, is he coming back? I can't see him! That's because he, he jabbed out your eyeballs, man! No, he's busy scalping those pacifist girls in the parking lot. <coughs> this situation took such a dark turn. It looks like this is the end. Open your mind. Unfold your heart Relax your senses Feel every part You ain't got a thing to fear Looks like love is growing here So take your guard and let it down still until you come unwound unbound breathe every so guys we're poisoning a water treatment center but which one what about the one in sydney nah it's too far yeah plus you spelled sydney wrong it's with a y not an i guys what about ireland don't you mean Ireland? No, dude, it's Ireland with a D. There's always Georgia. No. No. But I miss Georgia. You ain't got a thing to fear. So, uh, what's the deal with this gordy guy? Total jackass. Oh, what? Total jackass. Okay. Don't forget to order the donuts. So what's the deal with you and Tiffany? Well, okay, so we were in paint, right? And she took the entire bucket of blue paint and just like dumped it on my head. And it was picture day. So I was nicknamed Smurf for the rest, oh, for the rest of kindergarten. Tiffany is evil. And she took my cookies. What are you doing here? Macy's a good friend of mine. What are you doing here? She hired me to do a job. They let you out after you killed all those people? Tell me your story. Tell it to me. Don't leave out a word. Cause I think I've been there too. Just like you, you ain't got a thing to fear. 
Much like love is growing here So take your guard and let it down Go deeper still until you come unwound Unbound